Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy holidays. Today's video is going to be about this beautiful hair that I got from omgherhair.com and I'm also going to be showing you how I achieved this look which is perfect for the party season. So straight out of the box, the hair looks amazing, haven't even opened it. It comes with a little extra package, comes with a comb and wig caps and hair instructions. Love it, says Merry Christmas. I thought that was really thoughtful of them. The hair just came out wrapped in one of those, you know, net-like things. I wasn't expecting it, but the hair was actually bleached. They already bleached the knots. The hair comes already pre-plucked. I thought I'd have to pre-pluck the hair, but there was actually nothing to do. It was amazing. It looked good. You know, what more can a girl ask for? I just went ahead, cut off the lace from the back, and the hair came with a really unpleasant smell, but not in a good old conditioner and shampoo couldn't fix. And this is pretty much all the shedding that I got. And I feel like for curly hair, the shedding was pretty much minimal. I let it dry overnight, and the curls were looking good, honey. It was pretty much love at first sight, especially with everything already done. It felt like Christmas, basically. <laughs> When I saw my wigs, I always make sure I have my hair braided down. I have my wig cap on. I do love to cut off the lace with the wig on. It helps me cut the wig perfectly to fit my face. Next, I'm going to go in with my Got To Be Glue. And I'm just going to apply that around my forehead. And I let that sit and get tacky for about 4-5 to five minutes. Once the glue is tacky, I just sit the wig down on the glue. I try to work it a little bit with um, a comb just to make sure everything lays down flat. And the hair did come with three combs one in the back and two in front and i just try to make sure it's adjusted in the back so it fits perfectly for baby hairs i do kind of struggle with my baby hairs i pretty much just comb out a few hairs in front cut it up with the scissors to the length that i want and with my echo styler gel i'm gonna try and lay the baby hairs down and now to lay the baby hairs i'm just gonna tie them down with a scarf and let that sit for about a few minutes and using my Zulu palette from Juvia's Place, I'm going to start off by applying this brown shade. I like to start off with an eyeshadow that's closer to my skin tone. This is just going to warm my eyes up. Next, I'm going to go into this pink eyeshadow and I'm going to take it right into my crease. And we're just going to blend that in. Okay, next, I'm going to apply this purple eyeshadow to the inner and outer corner of my eyelids. And I'm also going to take it into my crease as well. Using my concealer, I'm just going to try to make a cut crease. Again, I did start out wanting to do a halo eye tutorial, but I ended up doing a full cut crease. So you can just go ahead if you're recreating the same look and apply the concealer to your eyelids all the way to the front. And next I'm going to go in with this glitter. This is from Violent Voss. I forgot the name, but I'm just going to leave that on the screen. I do suggest using some glitter glue or some glitter primer. It's really hard applying this particular glitter onto the concealer. And after applying glitter, I just went ahead and lined my eyes using my e.l.f. liner. I'm gonna go ahead and also apply some false lashes. The more voluminous, the better. We wanna look good. So the glitter did go everywhere, <laughs> so I ended up ha having to clean up my face. I just used my micellar water from Garnier, I believe. I went in with my Maybelline Superstay Foundation in 355. Quirk, quirk. And we're already looking good to contour my face. I'm going to be using my Maybelline concealer. This one's in shade 30. I think they switched up their numbers. This one's a lot lighter than what I usually get. Again, I'm just going to leave the name on the screen as well as in the description box. I'll be using my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Espresso. I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And to buff the excess setting powder, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 355. And we're already looking good, but we got to fix that under eye. I'm going to go in with that purple eyeshadow from the Zulu palette. I'm just going to apply that under my eyes. And then I'm going to go into the pink eyeshadow as well. And we're just going to work that in as well. I went into my BH Cosmetics Pro Contour Palette and I just used the darkest shade at the end. I pretty much just applied that mostly to my cheekbones because the cheekbones gotta be popping. 
and then whatever's left just goes onto my forehead and to my chin and I just use a little bit around my nose I don't like my nose area too dark so just a little bit of contour goes a long way Okay, and moving on to lips, I started by lining out my lips with the Ellery Times Colourpop Liquid Lipstick. This one's in Hennessy. Mm -hmm. okay, and once I was all lined and looking good, I did go in with my Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint. This one's called Unbutton. I feel like I've used it a lot. It's pretty much like the only nude lipstick I have at this time. Not sure why, but it works good. It looks good. And uh, just to make the eyes pop a little more, I did go back into that glitter eyeshadow and I applied a little bit to my inner tear duct. As you can see, it is popping. <laughs> Lastly, I did highlight my face with this new highlighter from Juvia's Place. It's the Royalty One. It's a loose highlighter. It is gorgeous. Like, we already know Juvia's Place got your pigments together, and as you can tell, I was shook because that highlighter was popping. It was shining, we're looking good. And just to finish up the look, I'm gonna go into blush, and I'm just applying just a little pink blush onto my cheeks, you know, just to get the look together. And lastly, we're just gonna finish up the hair. I did go in with some argan oil. The hair does have a lot of shine on its own, but I decided to enhance it a little bit. And this oil is pretty much like lightweight, so it doesn't really make the hair heavy. Next, I'm gonna go in with some styling mousse by Mac Anthony as well. And I did apply a lot. I don't think you need this much. Look at the curls all nice and defined. As you can see, the curls are popping already. Not like they weren't popping already. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Ran the mousse right through it, and the look was completed. We were feeling good, honey. So guys, this is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this look. Let me know what you think. I feel like this is so perfect for any parties you'd be going to. Like you can rock this look with pretty much anything. And as you can see, the hair looks good. It was bleached perfectly. And like whichever way you style it, like it's really, really good. And one more thing, the parting is really deep. I think you get about four inches of parting space, which is good. And yeah, the hair is really simple, it's pretty much low maintenance, like I love everything about it, I wouldn't change anything. And for the price, guys, I feel like it's a steal. Uh, shipping was also good as well, I got it within 3 business days, I have no complaints at this time. Hopefully I can do a review in about 6 weeks and let me know if you'd like to see an update. Leave all your comments in the comment section and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. I'll catch you in my next one. Happy holidays. Bye.